Kyle, you are a very sweet guy, aren't you? Very, very sweet. You're not at all fish meal based, are you ever? Never, never. I'm always sweet. Some would say different, but I think I'm quite sweet. Right. So, this mix here is surely one of the most iconic natural venue mixers of all time. Census Lake, obviously you've got the black version there. Yep. But you use this on commercials where most people use fish meal and get some stunning results. I do, Tom. I've used this ground bait now for possibly, I bet, 18 to 20 years. Wow. Um, I don't know how I come about it or why I started using it. Um, but obviously, like I say, I do fish lots of different venues, you know, canals, some rivers, lots of commercial silver fish matches. And I still use it on commercials when we're fishing for skimmers and roach and things like that. And obviously there's the craze over the last few years of using certain ground baits and adding fish meal ground baits in and strengthening them up and things like that. And I still just use this ground bait. I do other things with it and certain venues I go to, I'll have like some crushed hemp in it to stick it up when there's a lot more roach. So you can make it into little balls and throw it in and things like that. Um, obviously at this time of year we're bloodworm and joker fishing. So we do use lean. And I do put some soils in it as well. So I don't just use the ground bait on its own. And at this time of year, I do riddle it to take a few bigger particles out. But we've got some here, Tom. Look at this stuff. First of all, look at the bucket. That bucket. You work in a tackle shop. You ought to treat yourself. Look Tie at that. wrap. Turn it round. Turn it round to the side. I'm looking at ta Look at this for an effort, folks. That's some of Big Al's jobs. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, the, the ground bait obviously you can do loads with ground baits and i do do different things with it i usually have a dry mix then i have a wet mix and obviously so what's when, that about then what do you use your dry one for and what you wet i one tend for? to like use a dry one at the start yep. to try and get a bit of activity in the peg and obviously produce put some bait in the peg to try and put some fish drag some fish in the peg but once the fish sometimes are in your peg yeah i like to feed little wetter balls with sometimes a lot of bait in it sometimes without any bait in it so you can mix and match so i always have like two different mixes a drier mix and a wetter mix and just swap between but obviously that in that stage is like a, it's just an, an ordinary damp sort of mix you can use it on the fish show us it mix in your hand mate let's have a little look give it a nice big handful of it right can you see so it? yeah we can so i'm just looking at it so that's you mix that that's that's dry to damp consistency at that I okay can add a bit and more fairly water. big particles aren't yeah there's some big particles but like i say in the winter time i do yeah. i do sieve it off okay and then i do put some lean in it and I do sometimes put some soil on it. Depends on where I'm going and obviously depends on how good the fishing's gonna be. I do dictate that on the morning and it is all sort of trial and error. Um, but yeah, I do use a lot of leams and lots of soils and stuff like that. Do you ever use normal lake, are you natural lake? Because you're always dark. No, I nearly always use dark because a lot of the canals and stuff we fish in the summer tend to be clear. Yeah. I think that's mega important to use a, a dark ground bait. And in commercials, when they've got a tinge of colour in anyway, I don't think it matters that much if you use a light mix or a dark mix. I don't think it makes that much difference, me personally. Got you. Um, but like I say, I do like to use two different mixes. And like I say, that's, a, that's like a, dry, a, a dry, damp mix. And yeah. then I use one what's over wet. The good thing I do like about this ground bait as well is you can add quite a lot of particles to it. Yeah, so it's like, sticky, isn't it? Yeah, Naturally quite sticky. So you can like add quite a few worms. Or obviously, if you've got pinkies and casters that have been in water, obviously you add that to your ground bait. And then a lot of the times your ground bait goes a bit too stoggy, uh, stodgy and it's not quite right. Uh, but this ground bait does allow you to add particles to it as well, which I really do like. Um, but yeah, like I say, I've used it for absolutely years and years. The only thing I would say about this sort of ground bait is though, when there's lots of fish feeding, so when there's lots of like little roach and little skimmers and perch and stuff like that it's fine but sometimes when there's some bigger bream and stuff around or some bigger skimmers sometimes i don't always think it's quite right because mm. the, the cereal ground baits do sometimes attract a lot more smaller fish into your peg so when that's i, I tend to try and put a few more worms in my ground bait yeah to concentrate like where people would put more fish meal in the ground bait yeah I try to and it doesn't always work um you know worms the, the, the one of them baits that are brilliant or it's you know they're never any good at all um, but yeah census lake it's absolutely brilliant i've used it for like i say nearly 20 years now and i still use it and catch talk, plenty of fish with it talk us through this wetter mix then so when yes. do you use that so so we've got some ground bait here yeah let's just add a bit of water to the top and i'll tell you well, okay your cup matches your bucket pal that's oh, good in it you your color coordinator today i love it good so yeah, I always have two mixes. Like I say, I'll have an ordinary mix and I'll have an even wetter mix. So, right. as you can see now, just by adding this little bit of water to it, if you get the two lots of ground bait there, look, and you look at that one, 
which is like a dry, wet mix. Yeah. And then you look at that one, the consistency, consistency, sorry, of it is a lot more wetter. Yeah. And that tends to work a lot better, for, I think, for skimmers. Okay. Because when you put a dry, ordinary mix in, you put it in, it sort of clouds down, and it, it, it tends to bring a lot more smaller fish into your pen. But the wetter mix, you can just nip it little ball with a few worms, you know, we use blood worm and joker, and it just seems to go straight to the bottom. And what it doesn't do is it doesn't break up and activate as much as the drier mix does. And I think when an odd skimmer then comes into your peg, there's less bait for it to eat. Yeah. And then obviously your hook bait, it will take your hook bait quicker than if you've got loads of bait and it's exposed like that. Yeah. There's that much bait there, it takes a lot longer to get a bite. Oh, that makes so sense. So I think a nice wetter ball with a bit of bait in it, it goes straight to the bottom, the fish obviously comes straight back into it, but then obviously there's not enough bait on there where it just takes your hook bait. Definitely. Um, but there's loads you can do with ground baits and I've experimented over the years. Um, like I say, in the summertime, I do use a lot of crushed hemp, okay. um, especially when there's a lot more roach. Uh, it does make the ground bait a lot more stickier as well, so you can squeeze real balls. And the soil that I use is that one, which is the Van den Eyde one, heavy earth. It's very, very good soil. It's very heavy. Um, like I say, I tend to use the 50-50 a lot of the time, like I say, but I always do it on the morning, depending on, I think, how good the fishing is. Um, but yeah, I always put a lot of soil in. And roach absolutely love feeding in ground bait with soil. Yeah. I don't know why, but they just do. Um, but yeah, but obviously, so that's the soil. Um, but yeah, just absolutely brilliant ground bait. I've used it for years. Uh, and that's the only reason why changing, Tom. No, mate, your results would suggest to me you don't need to change anything. Brilliant.